Weapons that are falling into the hands of wrong people. Racine police say untraceable guns, also called ghost guns, are becoming a real problem. Christina Van Zels tonight with how kids are getting their hands on them. Racine police say there's been a number of shots fired calls here near Owen Street. Monday, patrol officers saw someone they believe was involved in one of those incidents. It's when children um, use them in a violent manner. Obviously, that's a problem. Investigators tried to stop the group of three who tried to run away. 17-year-old Stephen Miller was one of them. He was arrested when police found he had what's known as a ghost gun. It's dangerous for us. Uh, we have kids that uh, are being very reckless. Investigators say another kid they arrested also had a ghost gun. Craig Claypool says those types of guns have no serial number or markings, making them impossible to trace. You can purchase them through the mail and finish them at home with common hand tools. Claypool says all you need is a credit card to get one. There's no age restriction either. While it is technically legal, it's really the criminal element that we're seeing uh, that's in possession of these. We're seeing police say ghost guns make up a large portion of firearms they take off the street, and they're popping up more and more. Popularity has increased social media obviously drives some of that. In this case, Miller was arrested and charged, but police know there's likely other ghost guns out there. They just can't trace them yet. Miller will be back in court in October. Police say if you're a parent or anybody who comes across one of these guns to contact police immediately. Reporting in Racine, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. One more note here, Racine police say changes in the law like adding age restrictions would help stop these guns from getting into the hands of kids.